This is Gunter. Hey, Gunter, thank you for coming. You are very welcome. What do you think about the dragons? The dragons are awake now and they are doing uh, their part for the uh, uh, ascension, the white dragons. There are mm -hmm. dragons awakened now under the Himalayas. There are dragons mm -hmm. awake under the French and English area. Mm -hmm. And finally, the other dragons are under China and Japan and Korea area. Mm -hmm. uh, they are all awake now. Is there awakening? Uh, does it correspond to the uh, likelihood of war? In some cases, the ones from China and Japan and Korea would like to cause war, yes. And those in the north and in the English area, they, were, they would prefer not to have war. I am not sure about what the ones under the Himalayas are thinking. I wasn't even aware that they were there until they started to awaken. They were so deep inside of the earth. Uh-huh. So how do you relate to them? What, what do you feel about them? With the white dragons of the north, I feel very positive. They are mm -hmm. very much helpful in uh, bringing uh, the ascension into a higher uh, vibration. The ones under England, they are more neutral, but still somewhat positive. Uh, but they really don't add too much. But the ones under China and Japan are very negative. And really? they are, uh, yes, and they are really trying to stop all the things that are positively happening. Wow. Uh, do the ones in China, do they look like they're on a drawing, like with a short face, like more like a frog face? I do not see them, but I sense them, and I know that they, well, I can see them, but I choose, chose not to. But I will look and see. Can you hold on for one minute? Uh-huh. One moment, please. I see these as more red and brown dragons and some mm -hmm. black. And they look more like dragons, the, uh, the ancient dragons. They look more, they have the long face and a lot of teeth. Mm -hmm. A long face. Oh, I see. Not yeah. a short face. I see. Mm -hmm. because so some of the others have shorter faces, but they have a longer face. More dragon looking than reptilian looking. Ah, I see. Because Chinese ones are like often smile and then they have like short white, short white faces. Yes, the the people perceive them differently. Mm -hmm. I imagine that some of them may be like that. Mm -hmm. But I, when I just looked, they the one that I saw had a longer face not real long but longer than what you what they would portray in japan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i see so are you related uh, genetically or spiritually to dragons are you a dragon i am related in some ways but i am not a dragon uh-huh but i have definite ties to them uh-huh so I, but I do, uh, right now I am trying not to uh, be tied to dragons as much as I am to other beings that are uh -huh. more positive. Uh -huh. I am trying to work myself into a more positive realm. Uh -huh. So, so what, what's the essence, what's the meaning of the dragon? What's the essence, like uh, metaphysical, I would say, uh, life path essence? They are here to bring balance, uh -huh. and that is why you have so many, you have four different kinds of dragons on, on Earth under the surface, is they bring a certain balance to the Earth, 
and a certain understanding of the ancient mm -hmm. and a, a connection to the past that they want to uh, have humans remember and they will share that information at some point. What percent of the humanity is genetically related to dragons? Not a whole lot. I would say that, uh, I would have to check, but I'd say 10% at most. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I, I've been today to the ocean and it was a very um, active and uh, lots of foam. I mean, it was just behaving like very unpredictably, very unusually. It was like a very different behavior than usual. Not yeah. too much wind, but it was just lots of foam, lots of um, strange waves and uh, not a normal behavior. I wonder if we are coming into a new stage in, uh, in uh, economy and politics. Is it indicative of anything? The waves are, the way they are at this moment shows that there was some kind of ecological release. Uh -huh. so perhaps a lot of gas from the bottom of the ocean. Uh -huh. uh, perhaps a sm small volcanic uh, eruption several miles offshore. Um, something of that nature, it sounds like to me. But it is indicative, indicative of change in your realm. The financial world in your realm is unstable. However, it's not going to collapse quite yet. Uh-huh. How about the wars? The what? The wars. The wars are getting closer uh, at this point. You see, a war would be good for the economy in some places, and so would keep the um, economy more stable in some ways. So they are pushing toward war so that they can uh, build up their manufacturing of many different kinds of war machines and weapons. And this would cause an economic rush in some areas and bring a lot of people into work. Right. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, right. it right. is at a financial builder. It does decimate the population to some extent, but there are those that are high in, in the cabal in money that do not care about people as much as their own agenda. All right. So how do the aliens um, uh, change in their, what they do right now? Is there any like... Um, they new must, plans or a new, new, new um, or, 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 um, uh, momentum in the alien activity? No, they have predicted this for many hundreds of years. And so uh -huh. they, are all pre they are prepared for any agenda. And they know exactly what their legal rights are in any agenda. So mm -hmm. they are not going to uh, seem like they're... Uh, scattering or gearing up for anything because they already know what's happening. Uh -huh. They are, in essence, uh, looking for the, the signs that the prophecies are happening and coming forth, and they are <laughs> not really interested in the war as much unless it escalates to a certain point Mm -hmm. And then at that, in that realization, then they would begin to worry that the human civilization would be in danger. But at this oh, moment, mm -hmm. it is not in danger, and there is still time for them to harvest, if you will, some of the human DNA that is available at this time. Now, mm -hmm. they are not permitted to harvest it in a violent or way. They need it volunteers of course but they mm -hmm. want to get as much dna from the planet between now and the next 120 years as they can how can people volunteer 
they can go to your website and vo- give uh, donations of blood to Gurkvik Nier because they turn it into serums and sell it to the galaxy. Right. No, no. Now our website doesn't take the blood. We just uh, allow people to type in the the request or consent for that. But they come and take it if they approve. Right, right, right. Yeah. So people can type in the consent. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Um. There are other places that gather blood also, but it must be in by permission and the. Galactic government has approved subconscious approval, which means they could come in their sleep, ask them if they want to give, and if they say yes, they will be able to take some blood samples. There is a limitation to how much they are allowed to take, only Mm -hmm. one vial of blood, but they take it out uh, through a different method than injection uh, needles. Mm -hmm. So it is measured by the galactic government and Mm -hmm. approved so that they can make their serums. Sounds good, I volunteer. Yes, you've already given blood more than once. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I wanted to just remind uh, the idea that um, uh, one, there is a disturbance in, in politics and uh, like a war or, or any other disturbance. Um, that would be a great opportunity for the disclosure and the contact. Because, uh, it, it, well, it would, yeah. you cannot really have a disclosure during times of high conflict because the attention will be drawn away to the purpose of first contact. It will be that they're looking for first contact to be a savior, and that is not the intention of first contact. The intention of first contact is to bring you into the neighborhood in a pacifistic way, in a way that is agreeable, in a popular way, if you will, to all different species that are out there. One by one, they will make themselves known to your peoples. However, the initial introduction of aliens to the earth must be in a time when attentions can be given to their agenda and not any other time. And this is a time of a great um, disruption in the human race. There's financial disruption, there's disruption by way of war, there's disruption by way of religion and its understanding of its own validity because many are being shown that their religion is not what they thought it was. Okay, um, I agree in in part, but I also, uh, what I mean is not the main event, but preliminary multiple events of disclosure and preliminary multiple events of contact can be done. Oh, yes, and that is happening. Yep. So when, I, when there is a, when everybody's attention is to the war, you guys can uh, dump on our YouTube and, and uh, other media lots of photographs and videos of the aliens and interviews. And because of the attention of the population is elsewhere, it will sit there and people will gradually look at it and get used to that. And the same thing with, uh, that's disclosure, and the same thing with the contact. You can start coming and nobody will pay attention, but you can contact lots of people without, um, you know, the main powers and the main attention being dis- dis- um, you know, distor- disturbed and without uh, the economy being disturbed because it's, it's, you know, people are not paying attention. There are lots of localized disclosures happening, and this is the way they are planning to do it from now on, is localized disclosures, not worldwide events, but Uh localized sightings, localized things, so that it, (laughs) it makes more sense to the people 
and they can believe it more naturally because they are discussing it with family and friends and not just seeing it in the media. Yeah, I would like to see something in the sky. Can you wave from the sky? Not at the moment. Yep. I am not in the ship at this point. Right. Thank you. Okay, that's the part, the end of the part. Um, no, I was serious. Like, I, I didn't see uh, you for close up ever. It would be nice to see. I mean, uh, I, I yes. saw only, only um, <clears throat> flashes in the sky. That's the, the, the closest as I got. Uh, at this point, I wanted to switch from, uh, uh, I'll stop the recording from public to personal questions. Very well.